the beauty community sometimes has drama in it. Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Dustin, and I am back with another video. Now, I promised that I was going to have this video out yesterday, probably even the day before. However, as you guys know, mentally, I have just been going through it, and I have to prioritize my mental health before I come on here and try to spill the tea for you guys, especially when it's regarding something so serious as what we're going to be talking about today. So I apologize for not having this video out sooner because I know a lot of you guys are wanting to hear about it, but I'm sure that a lot of you guys know what I'm going to be talking about today. I want to talk about Raw Beauty Christie because because what's going on with her is just beyond me. I never thought in a million years that I'd be sitting down to actually make a drama video about Raw Bitty Christie. Now, in the past, I have made videos about her, but I've always been very complimentary. I've really, truly enjoyed her content, her latex content from back in the day. Every year, I tweet to her asking her if she's going to do Halloween content. She hasn't done it since, but I really 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 used to be into her content and truly I think that she was like a pillar in the beauty community that everybody looked to for the truth and now I'm just blown away so you guys I'm going to be talking about Raw Beauty Christy but before I get into that I just wanted to point out some of the other people that I have caught endorsing James Charles or giving him a pass for the things that he's done so with all that said let's get into this now this wouldn't be a proper drama video if I didn't include Jaclyn Shield because you guys know Jaclyn Hill has her finger in every single pie in the beauty community she befriends anyone she thinks is going to help her sell that bullshit that she comes up with and steals from other people. Hey, this is about being real these days. Okay, we're entering a recession, people. Well, a few months ago, Jaclyn Hill posted a video of her redoing her pantry, and guess what she did? She thought it would be cool to give James Charles a shout out, and if that's not an endorsement, I don't know what is. James Charles just texted me. He said, hello. Now I find this incredibly funny that these two people would be friends because Jaclyn Hill is also friends with Jeffree Star and you're gonna see a lot of that throughout this entire video. Most of these people are friends with James and friends with Jeffrey. And if you know the past between these two people, it's just very strange. She vocally put in this video that James Charles texted her and she made it seem as if they were like buddy buddy. So I'm gonna take it at face value and believe that they are. Now we also know that Lipstick Nick is best friends with Jacqueline, but she's also helped James Charles with the painted launch. More about Lipstick Nick in a minute. But are you guys surprised to see Jacqueline Hill supporting James Charles? Because I'm not, because people like those people stick together. And before you leave me a little hate comment saying, oh, Jaclyn Hill probably didn't know. Bullshit, girl. Jaclyn Hill is on the Reddits. Jaclyn Hill is on the Twitters. Jaclyn Hill is on the Instagrams. Jaclyn Hill is out here. She knows everything that's going on because if she can take the time to respond to Marlena and Jen on a Reddit, she knows exactly what the fuck is going on in the beauty community. So I don't want to hear any excuses from Jaclyn Hill and how she supports a predator. Little Miss Predator apologist over there. Maybe Jordan can go with James to get him some gold teeth. Now on to the next steaming piles of shit. So I I'm going to group these two together because they're like frickin' frack. They're inseparable. They're joined at the hip. And that's going to be Manny MUA and Laura Leach. Now, you guys know the history of Laura Lee and everything she done. That shitty ass apology that she put out. And then we had Manny that made fun of this autistic girl and had to make an apology. I bet you probably forgot about that, Manny. I didn't. But these two have no problem reviewing Painted and being buddy-buddy with James Charles. And I know for a fact that these two know what's going on with James Charles because they were friends with Here for the Tea. And guess what? She was all up in James Charles' business and she was friends with him up until he got exposed like the 14th time. And we all know that they know that we know that they know that James Charles is a predator and they still have no problem hanging out with him, doing things with him, promoting his products, and it's problematic. Now, Laura Lee has her own set of problems. She doesn't just support a predator. She's also a liar. She never discloses her affiliate links. She never does what's right. And I feel like Manny, Laura, and James specifically live in like 2017, 2018, because they keep trying to do the same old shit and it's just not working. They're nowhere near as relevant as they used to be. But side note, if you haven't watched my video that I made with Paige when I was in LA, Manny MUA and Laura Leach also uploaded a podcast that they deleted where they basically defended Colleen Ballinger. Now, if you know, you know, Colleen Ballinger has been getting called out for grooming, all this different shit for months now. And Manny and Laura went on a podcast and basically explained away what happened and they downplayed the situation. And then they ended up deleting leading the podcast after they got called out because I made a video, I think Adam made a video, a lot of people were pissed. And I think that it must be noted that the people supporting Colleen also support James Charles. So they all protect one another, especially Manny MUA. Manny has no problem hugging James, being on his Instagram. If you saw that PR video that James posted where he went and passed out these painted pails, the predator pails, Manny was delighted to get that shit. Manny 
Franny was over the moon and elated to see James Charles pull out that little ass paint can and that little ass paint can opener that he probably paid like 25 cents for. And then when Manny did his review of Painted, he went on to give it a good review when the shit was patchy as hell and tried to blame it on vitiligo, girl. The jokes literally write themselves. Manny, I hope you're happy being a predator apologist. I'm desperate. But what's really funny about Manny also too, I noticed that Manny blocked me like a week ago. Now I don't really check for Manny like that unless somebody sends me something. So after all these years of me talking about you, Manny, when James Charles was brought up, you finally blocked me. You ain't gotta hide it no more. Manny girl, you know I know. You know I know your business. And I know that you said that James Charles is innocent behind the scenes. But anybody with the brain knows that that's a fucking lie and you're just protecting a predator. Now I wish that I could say I was surprised by this next person, but girl, I'm not. We're gonna talk about Tana Mojo for a minute. Now, we all know that Tana had been super duper vocal about James Charles, and initially when this came out, she defended James Charles, and then she took that back, and she befriended Gage, and she became friends with Gage, and I think they're on the outs now, but now she's friends with James again, and they have been friends and mingling together since Coachella. But I'm just gonna keep this short. I'm really disappointed in Tana. I was just getting into her, but we all know that Tana's trash. She got fucked with a toothbrush. That he fucked me with a toothbrush. Now this next person I'm actually really sad about because I really do look up to this person. I've met this person. I've hung out with this person. I love this person. I adore this person. I am incredibly let down by this and it sucks that I'm having to sit here and talk about this, but I have to if I'm going to keep the same energy and I want to talk about Loey Lane. Now you guys, I met Loey when I was in LA. Nick introduced me to her. I love Loey Lane. I love her energy. I love body positivity. I love the message that Loey puts out there, but one thing I will not support and will not condone is Loey enabling a predator. So unfortunately, after I post this video, I'm going to have to unfollow her. I just have to keep the same energy. I'm not going to sit here and be a hypocrite. Now, I do have in my bio, follow doesn't equal endorsement, but I have some kind of like a personal relationship with Loie just a little bit. So I'm going to have to unfollow her. And that really sucks. I really hope that maybe Loie will address this. Maybe she will say something, but I'm really not going to hold out hope for that because I believe that Loie actually helped James Charles promote sisters. She was in one of his photo shoots. And I know that Loie knows what's going on because I think Loie watches these videos. Girl, please make a statement. Please disavow this. Please move away from this so I can support you. I love you. So now let's talk about Lipstick Nick. Now Lipstick Nick is very much like Jacqueline because she has her hand or fingers in every single pie in the beauty community. We've seen Lipstick Nick work with Jeffrey. We've seen her work with James. We've seen her work with Manny. We've seen her work with Laura. They're all friends. They all hang out. They all talk behind the scenes. And it's so weird that Lipstick Nick literally has all the information on all these people because she works with all of them. She works with all the people that hate one another. And it's just weird for me that Jeffrey still allows people like Lipstick Nick in his circle because she is not his friend, just like he's not her friend. But like I said in the intro of this video, we've seen Lipstick Nick help James with his painted launch. She even allowed him to use her beauty space for shooting the painted photo shoot, I believe. Ooh, girl, ooh, and you even went to the launch party and Maddie was there with you. I do not understand how Jeffree Star is friends with all all these people that are friends with his arch enemy. Like, what the fuck? Can it be said in some way that Jeffree Star is still supporting James Charles because he's friends with people that are friends with him? I don't know, maybe that's a reach. You'll have to let me know down below, but that's crazy. Now, initially when I was making my notes for this video, I had totally forgotten about Michaela Nagara because I haven't talked about her in a really long time. But Michaela Nagara had James Charles at her fucking wedding. At one of the most important days of her life, she decided to bring a predator, invite a predator to her wedding. Do you know how crazy and problematic that is? But if you thought it stopped there, it didn't, of course. So if you go over to Painted's Instagram and look, James Charles posted Michaela Nagara at the Streamy Awards wearing Painted. Girl, what the fuck? But what's also like really weird about Michaela is Raw Beauty Christie said that she is one of the most honest people in the beauty space. Bitch, where in what fucking world at this point it just has to be clout like these people want clout at any cost they don't care if it affects their image they don't care if it affects their bottom line they just want numbers on social media and i feel like that's why they're all friends with james charles when can we really fucking cancel james charles when is he really going to be held accountable because if jeffree star can get canceled effectively canceled because he dealt with a lot Why the fuck is James Charles not facing those same consequences or worse? Because James Charles 
actually admitted to these things. And people just skate by this. They give a pass. They just let him slide by. And I am so fucking tired of it. Now, I did miss somebody in my notes. I just scrolled back up. I have to talk about Gigi Gorgeous for a minute. I'm actually not really surprised by this because Gigi has had a ton of shit takes in her time on social media. But I will say that I am actually really disappointed in this because I have watched Gigi Gorgeous since Gigi was Gregory. I really really used to like Gigi's content. But Gigi don't give one single fuck what anybody thinks about her when in this case she really should because eventually this could affect her. Now I know that Gigi doesn't really give a shit because she's got that Getty money, but girl, your image is everything. Why the fuck are you friends with a predator? Why, girl? Why? Now, you don't follow James, but you follow Painted, so I'm taking that as the same thing. So now, let's get into Raw Beauty Christy because, girl, I have opinions, and Christy, if you're watching this video, baby you are a disappointment. Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, Raw Beauty Christy has been a pillar, in my opinion, in the beauty community for some time now. If you don't remember, she is the first person with a huge platform that actually called out Jaclyn Hill. She broke out the microscope and she pretty much kicked off Lipstick Gate. And she was incredibly vocal about what was going on with Jaclyn and her lipsticks. And it's just weird to me that she can call someone out for hairy lipsticks, but she can't call someone out for being a predator. But in the same breath, she calls out Colleen Ballinger and she calls out Ruby Frankie for child abuse. Like, how does that work? If you're going to protect kids, protect all kids, not just kids that you find important. All kids are important. Now I have to give credit where it's due. Peter Mon is the first person to call out Raw Beauty Christy and he did it in a way that I really enjoyed. I feel like Peter was out here really holding her ass accountable and rightfully fucking so because at this point, Raw Beauty Christy has this image of being this honest, humble, good person when the reality is behind the scenes for years I've literally heard things about her I've never had a personal experience so I never really paid it that much attention but she's out here worried about affiliate links talking about affiliate links when people are wanting her to address this whole thing with James when she needs to be worried about her affiliation with James now if you watch Peter's video if you haven't I definitely think you should Peter had a phone call with her and he pretty much said that she manipulated him and he told me a little bit more than he shared on the internet obviously because we're friends and girl you know what you did you have to know how bad this looks. You followed James Charles up until this point and you told Peter that you didn't want to unfollow him because you did not want it to look performative but you went and unfollowed him. Now, James Charles still follows you, but there are some things that I've made notes about that I want to talk about and why this is so problematic coming from Christy. Now, we have to kind of go back in time here, right? So we have to go back to the palette launch when James Charles had this initial palette launch with Morphe. Raw Beauty Christy reviewed this palette. And in this video, she pretty much said that her and James Charles are friends, buddies, which is actually kind of weird because I don't see those two energies working together. So it's probably just cloud anyway, knowing what we know about Christy, but I'm not gonna mince her words. I'm gonna let you hear exactly from her mouth how she felt about James Charles. So James Charles, if you do not know who he is, he is a beauty influencer with 10 plus million YouTube followers and 10 plus million Instagram followers. He is a powerhouse when it comes to beauty and his influence is huge. I've known James for a few years now. We met at IMATS back in 2016, I believe. I could just tell from talking to James that weekend and hanging out with him, he knew he was going to succeed in this industry and boy, was he right. I remember in that moment, he had 16,000 YouTube subscribers and less than 100,000 followers on Instagram. And now look at him. I mean, it is a, truly a testament. He is an incredible businessman. And I mean, it's shocking to see somebody so young be so incredible at business. And I really love James. He's always been a great guy to me. But that all aside, I'm going to review this eyeshadow palette as if I don't know him personally, as if he's not one of my buddies, and if I am just going to give you guys information. I know it's tough when somebody knows somebody personally to give a full, uh, honest, unbiased review, and a lot of people don't believe it, uh, believe it today because I'm going to give you guys all the information that you need as far as the controversy goes with this palette so far and my review, which you'll see in a few minutes and see how I feel about the eyeshadows. So if you can get on the internet and you can say all these complimentary things of James Charles when you're reviewing his palette, why is it that you cannot hold him accountable? If you can speak about Colleen Ballinger, if you can speak about Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrandt, why in the fuck can you not make a statement about you 
engaging with his post and basically endorsing what James Charles done. Now, I don't want to hear no bullshit about mental health when it comes to this because I struggle with mental health. I've been through a whole fucking lot and none of my mental breakdowns have ever came from the internet. Yes, it sucks sometimes. People are awful. I hate that Christy has went through a hard time, but you know what? That's fucking life. I have been through so much in the past three years. I could have checked out, but you know what, bitch? I'm still here. So you motherfuckers spare me the mental health bullshit. I do not care. I do not want to hear it. I do not want to see comments like that because this is a situation that Raw Beauty Christie cultivated for herself. She set herself up with this. And just like Peter Mon said in his video, it's very clear that she takes issue with Jeffree Star because she's made all these references to Gucci and Balmain and all that shit. We know she's talking about Jeffree Star because of the private jet comment and all that. So my question is, Christy, if you have an issue with Jeffree Star, why in the fuck do you not have an issue with James Charles? Period, point blank. Why the fuck don't you have an issue with James Charles? If you're about protecting kids, protect kids. Don't halfway do it because on that phone call that you had with Peter, you said you didn't want to unfollow James because it would look performative. But guess what? You turned right the fuck around and you went and you unfollowed James. Girl, if you really want to be about that life, stand in your fucking truth. If you want to support James Charles, that's fine. You can support whoever you want, but that's not going to change anybody's opinion. That's going to make you look bad, girl, because you know what it looks like now? It looks like everything you've said up until this point is performative. It's giving me Wokey Glow vibes and you guys know how I feel about Wokey Glow. I do not fucking like her. She seems performative and her and Raw Beauty Christie, in my opinion, are cut from the same cloth. This confirms it for me. If you're going to use your platform to call out people that hurt kids, you need to use your platform to call out people that fucking hurt kids. And James Charles has definitely done that, girl. He's definitely done that. He's admitted to it. I never, ever want to hear someone say that they do not know what happened with James Charles. That was national, worldwide fucking news, girl. When James Charles was in that airport in Australia, all eyes were on him. It made ABC News. It made NBC News. It was world fucking wide. I don't want to hear no fucking excuses that you were pregnant or you were dealing with postpartum because this is so far out now. There's been so many videos made about him and the fact that you watch drama videos. We know you watch drama videos. We always make drama videos about James Charles, but yet here you are with your fucking head in the sand acting as if like you don't know or you're not aware of what James Charles has been accused accused of and has admitted to and has admitted to because if you know anything about how the algorithm works any fucking algorithm if she knows about ruby frank if she knows about colleen ballinger then she would have to know about james charles I don't want to hear no excuses, Christy. There's no excuse for this. And the fact that you uploaded a video yesterday, a latte makeup review, and you couldn't address this, but you went on your Instagram story to talk about affiliate links? You're worried about the wrong affiliation, sis. You are worried about the wrong affiliate because you are an affiliate of James Charles. And if you think Jeffree Star is a demon, then what, what is your opinion about James Charles? Hard opinions are important. They're very important. I am so sick and tired of people fence riding and saying what they think the audience wants to hear. If you don't like what I have to say, that's fine. We don't have to argue about it. We can agree to disagree. But what we're not going to do is get on here and say we care about kids and call out people for child abuse and then turn a blind eye to what James Charles has been accused of and has admitted to, girl. We are not doing that in 2023. We're going into 2024. And you know what? All these cancel motherfuckers can stay canceled. But I just want us to actually effectively cancel James Charles so he can have his feet held to the fucking fire for once because there are people that have been canceled for so much less than what James Charles has admitted to out of his own fucking mouth and Twitter statements. I just think that it's absolutely repugnant that Raw Beauty Christie thinks that it's okay to speak to Peter on the phone the way she did and then react to these people asking her genuine questions because they're concerned about her affiliation with James Charles and she goes to block people. There's numerous people that have said that they've been blocked by just simply asking her what she feels about James Charles. This has truly ruined Raw Beauty Christie for me. There is no coming back for me with her. So I figured I would share one of the DMs that were shared on Twitter by one of my followers that actually messaged Christie and got blocked because she asked her in a very nice way, what she thought about James Charles in this whole situation. So as you can see here in this screenshot, Chloe reached out to her and she had in the past and she had sent numerous messages and Christy never replied. Now I try to reply to all messages because I actually give a fuck. I know I don't get to all of them, but I try my best. So with her reaching out this many times, I feel like Christy could have given her like two seconds of a reply at least, but she didn't. But Chloe said to Christy, 
Christy, I genuinely adore you, but I cannot stand behind influencers who still support James Charles. Your passion for protecting children has always been so admirable, so seeing you support James is disheartening. How is what he did okay in your eyes? I don't understand. Now, does this warrant a block? I don't think so. This is someone that follows you. This is someone that is interested in your life. This is someone that has helped you pay your bills by watching your content and they've connected with you because the things you said resonated. So it's definitely given me snake vibes. Why would you block her? for being nice and asking you. So what is giving me for Christy is everything that she said up until this point has been performative. I don't wanna see tears, I wanna see action. So if you want to address this, Christy, I think that you should make a video. And there is something else that I wanted to point out. Peter Mon brought this up, and now that he said it, it really clicked for me. Christy talks so much about money and how TikTok's the new thing, that's where all the money is. Like, girl, why are you so obsessed with money? Because it's so weird that people like Manny, Laura, and Christy can come into the commentary space and offer commentary on very important situations, but the moment that they're involved in an important situation that would require them to speak up or speak out, it's mum's the fucking word, and we're tired of it. It's sick. It makes it look performative because it is performative. You're talking about shit that is important because you just want a paycheck. I'm talking about things that are important because I actually give a damn about them. There's a difference. And that's really fucking gross if you think about it. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. How do you feel about Raw Beauty Christie? Do you think that you're still going to support her? Are you still going to support her? How do you think she's handled this? Do you think she's handled it well? Because I sure as shit don't. Because the fact that she's blocking people in mass for just simply asking her opinion and what she thinks about the situation... That's not warranted. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I am incredibly let down by this. I think this sucks. It honestly makes me feel like all of these people that I have watched for so many years that I thought were authentic, I'm quickly finding out that they're not. And that's sad. But if you guys made it this far in this video, leave me the trash can emoji down below because this whole situation is trash. And you know what? I'm never going to be quiet about James Charles. I'm never going to shut up. I'm never fucking going anywhere. James, you're never going to live down what you've done and what I think you still are going to continue to do because things like this and people like this do not change. But with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye guys.